Yeah, <laughs> what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. We're gonna be taking out the bike for the first time after I installed the uh, TBR two one exhaust uh, a day or two ago. Um, I wasn't able to take the bike out that night, obviously, because it was a little too late. Um, and then the day after, which is really, really cold out, and the weather was pretty shitty. Um, so today's gonna be the, my first time. I'm gonna take you guys on the ride. Um, we're gonna go test out the TBR. First thoughts. Woo! Oh my God. That sounds really good. Gonna give you guys a little walk around right now. A little walk around. Oh, my light got off. A little something, right when I, um, after I put it on, I had a few lights come on. I had a check engine light come on, um, I had the ABS light come on because when I took off the, the brake pack right there, everything turned on right here, and even the oil light come on. But right now, everything is off. So, awesome, pretty good. I'm gonna give it a little walk around, let you guys hear it at idle. Amazing, man, I am stoked. Super, super happy to have this exhaust on my bike. I've been wanting it for some time already. I really love this carbon fiber detail right here, man. It, it just gives it such a beautiful look. It's a nice, nice touch. Let me uh, close up the garage. We'll get on the bike. <clears throat> See if I can pull over somewhere later and uh, take a nice picture as well. All right. Uh, I almost forgot my gloves. Let me get my gloves. Can't forget the gloves, man. By the way, these are Sedici gloves, guys. I always ask, uh, I always got questions about these gloves. These are Sedici gloves. Got them at Cycle Gear. They're almost two years old. They're all broken in, they feel really good. All right, so, like I was saying before, first time on the bike after I installed the two-in-one Two Brother exhaust. Which we're gonna go and go this way. All right. Wow. That is a major difference in sound. Sorry, guy. Righty. Sounds so good. I can literally sounds like a real, real Harley now. Like I mentioned before in the, uh, the install video, these Milwaukee 8s, they make like a, they make a weird sign at idling. It sounds like the uh, Jetson hovering vehicles. But now after I installed the uh, exhaust, man, what a difference. Let's see how she pulls now. Wow. Wow, 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 what a difference. <laughs> I feel a difference already. It just wants to pull. She literally wants to pull, man. Huge, huge difference. Now, let me just start off by saying that I did not tune it yet. Yes, I am going to tune it. I keep getting a lot of questions. Uh, what tuner I'm going to use? Um, it's going to be the Harley Davidson tuner, guys. I'm not going to go with anything else. Because I do not want to void my warranty. Let's just leave it at that. We'll leave that for another video. I've gotten tons and tons of recommendations for different brands to use for the tuner. But like I said, I'm going to stick to the uh, Screaming Eagle Harley Davidson tuner. That's the one that I'm going to go with. I haven't gotten it yet because I'm going to go get my bike serviced on Wednesday. I already made the appointment to do my 1,000 mile service. I'm already at 1393, uh, which is totally fine. Nothing wrong with that. But I'm gonna get my bike serviced on Wednesday, so once it gets serviced, I'll go ahead and I'll buy the tuner right there and then. Just wanted to see the big difference of the bike, how it rides without the tuner. Obviously, it's gonna be better with the tuner, but I, I wanted to see for myself how the bike is gonna react differently, you know? Man, I really like the sound of this bike now. And I really like the way it feels.
Like it literally wants to climb right now. Like I just, it just climbed to 80, like nothing. <laughs> Yo, this like, you literally hit 100 like nothing right now, man. <laughs> oh man, what a difference. Super happy with my purchase. These pipes are pretty pricey, guys. Um, they're $850. So they are pretty pricey up there. But let me tell you, they are worth it. I love the sound that my Vanson High slip ons made before. Um, I don't, not too much, but on the road, I love the sound that it made. Uh, definitely gave it that brat brat sound. Um, but these, oh my god, super impressed. I love him. I, lo I, lo I love everything about him so far. It just makes the bike look really, really cool, number one. Performance, I already feel it. And once I tune it, God. Now, I'm also planning to put this bike in a dyno later on down the road. Um, I want to see exactly what we're going to be able to do with it. Um, so, tune in for that as well. Now, another thing, going back to the install video, I keep getting a lot of questions on why I didn't replace the uh, exhaust gaskets. Guys, this is basically a brand new bike. You really don't need to change them. I mean, if you want to go ahead, you'll have brand new ones. Go ahead if you're gonna change your exhaust. It's up to you, you know, but on a brand new bike that uh, only has 1,300 miles on, this bike is basically brand new. It's not even broken in yet, you know? So those exhaust gaskets, the stock ones are still brand new. The only time you really got to worry about changing out exhaust gaskets are when, you know, the bike is pretty old already. And, uh, you know, you go ahead and you change them, but not on a brand new bike. Like I said, it's a, it's a choice. Now there's a lot of back and forth because it is recommended to change them. Um, and then it is also recommended for you to use the stock ones. So a lot of back and forth, but I'm going to leave them as is. If down the line, if I do encounter any issues, any uh, gas leaks or anything with the bike, uh, I'll be sure to let you guys know about that. Um, hopefully, that's not going to be the issue. Like I said, this bike is brand new. I shouldn't have any problems whatsoever. Damn, this road sucks here. It is really nice today. Blue skies, clear skies, as you can see. Weather is around 52 degrees, so really nice nice and sunny yesterday the wind was insane that's why I, I couldn't even go out to ride because there were like 45 50 mile an hour winds and it was like 40 degrees so imagine riding weather like that it was it wasn't gonna happen I wanted to be a little more detailed on the video but I also didn't want to make it too long either um, so let me know for just future reference guys if, uh, for future installs or anything else if you guys like seeing all the extra little details or not or do you prefer just giving over the little tiny stuff? Um, let me know, because obviously I'm gonna keep working on my bike, I'm gonna keep buying parts for it, and I'm gonna try to do everything myself. Only thing I'm not gonna mess with um, is when I get the risers with the cables and everything. I, I, don't, I don't mess with cables and all that stuff. And electronics as well, I don't mess with electronics stuff either. But besides that, like I, I love to work on my bike. I like doing everything myself. Plus, you save the money. Without even noticing now, this bike just climbs up to 80 and 90 like nothing, man. Feels good. How does it go? How does it go? Feels good. Uh, how does it go? How does it go? Oh, it feels good. <laughs> yeah, buddy. I was planning on maybe taking another ride around the city this upcoming week if the uh, weather permits it. I want to show you guys, go a little more in depth into the whole quarantine thing, how New York City looks like right now, give you the full effect of the I'm Legend movie. 
because that's what it literally feels like and looks like so if you want to see that give it a big thumbs up drop the comments down below <clears throat> all right so let me add that the sound that this exhaust makes it's a beautiful note it's not a it's not like a loud obnoxious sound you know some exhausts they just sound like really crappy it just sound loud but crappy this has a very distinctive sound and it's a beautiful sound i really really highly recommend this exhaust man give me that sound <laughs> Sounds so good. Woo! Also, guys, as you can see right here in the dash, there's no lights on whatsoever. I know someone dropped the comment. They're like, "Oh, anytime you're doing this, you should take off your battery sensor." Blah blah blah. You have all these lights on afterwards. But no lights on, so you really don't have to worry about doing that. Sounds good, baby. All right, guys. I'm going to go try to find a spot right now where I can pull over and take some nice photos. Put them on my IG. So, if you're not following me on my Instagram, go ahead. Follow me. It's the same name as my YouTube. Marvel Kid 87. This is my 2020 Lowrider S. First time riding out with my two brother exhaust, which sounds amazing. If this is the type of content that you're into, you're in the right place. Go ahead. Subscribe. Hit that bell button. Smash that like button right now. If you like this TBR exhaust, smash that like button. If you want to see more future content like this, also drop the comments down below. Let me know what you're working on right now. Let me know what type of ideas you have set for your lowrider S in the near future. Thank you for watching, guys. Like always, ride safe and enjoy the ride. Peace.